Hello comic book lovers! Today I am going to the Lost Nation Comic Convention in Willoughby, Ohio. So the next time you see me, I will be in Willoughby. Alright comic lovers, I am here in Willoughby, so let's go check out this show. Okay, comic lovers, I'm back from the convention. First, I will show you what books I picked up, and then I'll give you my thoughts on this show. First book. This book here completes my run of Flash and Rebirth. I now have every cover except some, like, convention books and and uh, I think just a couple special something or other, but I'm not worried about them. This here is cover A of Flash number 5. Happy now I have from one to whatever the latest one is. And I picked up to help fill in my Wally West Flash series. And um, first book is a newsstand, number 147. And then we have number 152. The beautiful Brian Bolin cover. I believe this is Brian Bolin. I don't see his name on here though. Is it on here? Well, no, I don't see it, but okay. The beautiful 168. That's gotta be Brian Bolin. Man, it sure looks like Brian Bolin's work. But I don't see his name anywhere. It's usually on the side over here, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's in the road. Can't see it though. Another beautiful Brian Bolin cover. Number 169. And yet another Brian Bolin, number 185. And we got number 192. Newsstand. Oh. 
This one was a newsstand. And another newsstand, number 194. And then, <coughs> pardon me, um, I never could pronounce this. Amalgam, I believe it's where they like, mix two superheroes together. This is Speed Demon, number one. This here is a mix of Ghost Rider and Flash. Because so I think he's called Blaze Allen in the book. I think that's his name. And this here next is my big purchase. Well, not big money wise because I, I got a whopper of a deal on this one. This is the iconic cover Superman number 233. The more I look at this thing, the better it presents. There's a, the, the staples looks a little rusty, not bad. There's some stress marks, some spine ticks, but you know, I'm not a 9.8 Alex, so it don't matter to me. There's a, there's a something here and you can see it right there. There's a piece of tape. I don't know why you'd put a piece of tape right there. I thought about trying to take it off myself, but uh, I thought really quickly about it. As you can tell, I didn't do it. So yeah, really presents really, really well. But that's not the reason I went. I went for signatures because uh, Jim Shooter was going to be here or be there. Now, I didn't know he wrote this book. Um, CLZ on my phone here didn't list him as a, as a writer. So I found it on the internet somewhere, I forget where, and it had him as the writer. So I went down to the show and I, I can I ask you a question? Oh yeah, sure, what? I said, uh, don't get mad at me, but um, did you write this book? Oh yeah, I wrote that 1960 something or other. So I had him sign my Superman number 199 right there. So he wrote this book. Yeah, I didn't know. And then I had him sign my Amazing Spider-Man number 265 right down there. Right here. And this is the book I had Ron Friend sign. And in that awful, awful spot. But for your first time signatures, you know, you learn. And also he signed another book for me, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because um, CBCS was down there and they witnessed his signature on this book. So it's going to be like, well, it went to, by now it's like either, I think it's on its way to Florida and then it's going to hit, head to Texas. So uh, I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to plan on going live when I get that book in. My first time going live, so it'll give me a little bit of time to save some money, get a webcam, because YouTube changed the, 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 the settings where you can't go live on your phone unless you have a thousand subscribers. And as you know, I'm just a little bit, I'm a little bit short of a thousand subscribers, so I have to get a webcam and do it that way. Um, now, thoughts on the show? There were, there was some controversy around the show that I don't want to get into. But I will tell you, um, I knew one dealer down there and he didn't have a good day. Oh, uh, I have a different shirt on because it was a two day show. And uh, some of the other dealers, I was at one dealer's spot and I could overhear him say that if it wasn't for like, you know, somebody come in and I don't know, he said bought a good book. So maybe a hundred, two hundred dollar book maybe. If that didn't sell, hey, they would not have made any money. So yeah, there was a, the second day, a lot of dealers were gone. There was a, a lot less dealers out there. So, so that's where you get some of the good deals. But um, yeah, and I felt really bad for, for Mr. Shooter because actually on both days, his Q&A panel, there, there might've been a total of eight people at his Q&A panel he had. I felt really bad, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. So yeah, um, if they have another show next year, I won't be going. So yeah, that's it. And I'm Chris. This is my channel broke because of comics. Be kind to one another. Be your own collector, and I will see you in the next video.